from the Riverdale Sports Complex, WCTV, the all-volunteer <laughs> cable access network, is proud to present high school football starting our 32nd year with John Frank Kohler and Larry LaFury. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry LaFury. John Frank Kohler is to my left. We are here up at uh, the field at Riverdale High School, a game where it's a tremendous rivalry and a very well rivalry, John. They play very hard. There's a tremendous amount of respect between Riverdale and, and Westwood, and today is the first game, and they're calling it week zero. This is August football. Well, Larry, you know, this is the bird tournament game, right? But here we've seen games the last second, a two-point conversion when Vito Campanile was the coach to win the game. And last year's game, Mr. Estevez, right at the end, decided to beat Westwood and remember the game in the state where Estevez took on Ramapo and single-handedly won that game. So well, we look here at the two teams. Westwood was in the uh, semifinals last year, and they fell to Newton. They had a very good team. They come back. Westwood here, as you're watching them on your screen, they got a very good skilled position players. Their quarterback, Anthony Carubia, running backs, Baez and uh, uh, Giordano. They are very good in the skilled position where they're going to have to show a mark improvement over the time will be up front on the offense and defensive line. And we've talked to the coaches, and they think that they're making this, um, this improvement. And if they do, as the year goes on, they're going to become a very, very difficult team with all this talent. Well, you got to keep the high-level uh, key position up high and bring up the offensive line, the young players, to the same height. And you got to stay healthy. That is the key for success for Westwood. Now, what can we say about the, the Riverdale after speaking to uh, uh, that coach uh, DJ Nymphius? He's got 35 players, he told us today, that he's ready to play and give them a chance. And he said, to me, I really don't know what I have, but I'll play all 35 if they're doing well. He's got five quarterbacks. Larry, and they all, they all could be playing tonight. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is a team that's got a lot of skill position. He's got plenty of... Uh, uh, seniors, plenty of sophomores, and he, he tells me the, he needs the players in order to compete in Group 3. He wants to win another championship. Two teams that have played each other over the last four or five years from, from, from chromatic games. Last year's game was one on a last second field goal with time running out, and Riverdale walked away with a win. Two years ago here, Riverdale trailing by six points, had a fourth and goal from the 25, and over time they hit the touchdowns, hit the PAT, and won by a point. A couple of years before, Vito Cavalli went for two points after a touchdown with a 30 seconds to go in the game, and he knocks off Riverdale by one. They played some magnificent games. It's a well-played game here between Riverdale and Westwood, and it's the Bird Bowl. There's a <laughs> Bird Bowl here. There's well, the two yeah. teams. They have the Hawks against the Cardinals. Unbelievable. Larry, I can't wait for this game because it's excitement. Anytime you play against DJ... DJ will come up with an unusual situation. He's a master with the players. And can you imagine having five quarterbacks in a game? Well, we start <laughs> the year off with a team that went to the semifinals last year versus Red Bull Westwood against a team that won the championship at MetLife Riverdale, trying to repeat again. This is brought to you by WCTV as we start our 32nd year oh my God. high school. I'm getting old. I'm only 40 now, so <laughs> I, I started I at 8. We were 9 years old when we started. <laughs> we'll be back with the opening kickoff in just a moment. <laughs>
Well, we had the playing of the national anthem and the uh, the student body of, Red, of Riverdale sang along with the national they anthem. Did a, Some they of the people did a great up here job. Nice I thought job. excellent job singing the Star Spangled Band. So uh, Riverdale will kick off to Westwood. Westwood will move from right to left. It's overcast. It rained a little bit. The rain has stopped. It's gotten a little bit more humid. Here we go. Going to be short. Taking up, and it was, <laughs> got a fair catch down there by Kevin Randolph. So Westwood will take over first and 10 with Anthony Carubio as the quarterback, and we'll see if the starters come out as they told us they would, <laughs> and we'll check that out. Nicky Baez, number two, is there, and we'll see who else is there. They are far, far away. Well, you're not on the 35-yard line, which is a great starting point. Well, I can tell you, you got, uh, looking at, we have uh, number 15, Larry. You got trips to the you left. Got, you got yeah. Rydell and uh, Rydell, in motion. Rydell goes in motion. Kubi is calling signals. Hands off to Baez. Baez hits the left side and is hit as he gets to the line of scrimmage and is pushed back. Well, he's still on his feet. Well, he broke one tackle, but then he was hit by, looks like number three made the stop that time, Larry. Yeah, that was uh, Matt Frunjan. He's he's a heck of a ball player. Daly comes out with trips again to the left with Daly, Mays, and Rydell. Kubia hands off to Baez around the left side, and he's tackled from the back side. And it looks like the nice no, kept the ball. Looks like 50. Murphy Connor, number 34. John, he came from the back side and made that tackle. Great speed by that young yes. man. Yes. So it's a loss of threes. The two is going to be third down, and we'll call it 12. Let's call it 12, 12. Let's call it 13. That's fine. It's a good number, 13. We can take a few 13, and we'll get to our age. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good way for us to count. About 513. Listen, we're going to get into that three quarters of a century. Oh, <laughs> I don't think about it, please. Columbia wow. calling signals. Baez is to his right. Westwood's looking at a third and long. Karubi is back. He's being rushed. He's pushed out of pocket and he's tackled. By number 58. Looks like. Ferno? Yep. So Westwood gets pushed back. They now have a fourth and six, 18, it looks like. Dropping back is number 27. And that was the. T that was the uh, Kieran Hughes. The nose guard made that tackle, so he had to go through some players and made the big tackle. Well, what, well Riverdale won the Battle of the Trenches on that series. Without a doubt. <laughs> Look, I think everybody but the kitchen sink is coming in at this point, Larry. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like about going 12. Forward, just oh. gets it away. Oh, well, it is a flag. Yeah. I, yeah. <clears throat> and... That Hughes brings him. it up to midfield, but there's a flag down there. Let's see what we're going to call here now. We're going to call roughing the, uh, the kicker. kicker, yes. So it would be 15 yards, I believe. The kicker, right? It's, and let's see how many yards they're going to mark off here. So they're going to do it again, I think. It's a five-yard penalty. So Westwood will do it again. If the kid offends him, that's the definition of rule. So you're looking at fourth, fourth and 12 yards. So he, the fire, yeah, so we're looking at 12 yards. Fourth and uh, 12, the ball is sitting on the about 35 yard line. So right now it looks like Borgensen will try to. I believe that's. Is that Borgensen kicking? Yes, yes. Borgensen hey, is Rick, the Hey, Ricky, get a close up on the kicker. Yeah, right here. Number seven. That's not number seven. That's number 10. Number 10 is Carubia. Yeah. So Carubia will come forward. <laughs> End over and not a good one. He got it off to the side of his foot. Bounces at the 50. Rolls oh, forward. Bounce. Across the 45 and comes to rest four yard line basically. Where Riverdale will take over first and ten and we'll see who comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Which quarterback? No. He should start to Charles us. Racine, number twenty-six. 
Uh, we got the, look at, look at that mascot there. That Cardinal, he's a tough Cardinal. <laughs> now they're starting number six, it looks like. Well, Racine. Check Racine, number six. Well, yeah, number nine. Nine would be Jellies, or Gellies. Gillies. Gillies is the quarterback. We got to keep up with them. Here's a throw down here and dropped. It's dropped. John, the Gillies, the quarterback, he was the young man that kicked the field goal last year with the time running out to win that you're, game. You're right. Right? If I'm you not know, mistaken. When, when I had my little discussion with the, the head coach, he says to me, John, I can take any five of them. I'm happy with any one of the five. And now you have, he decided to go with Jack. He kicks, and of course, Jack he's Gillies. The uh, he's a six footer, 190 pound junior. Mellet comes out to the right. The rest of the team is split to the left. Quarterback keeps, keeps it right up the middle, and he's tripped up as he gets across the 45 yard Number line. Number two for Baez, saving but, tackle. That oh, was that was looking for six. That was 59 yards written all over it. Oh, absolutely! What a hole they had in the middle of the line, Larry. Oof. Uh, and that was right at, at the shoelace that went down, or else. You know, that was a uh, a, a planned play. It wasn't like it broke down. He no. waited for the blocking, and then he took off. I mean, he, he took off like left a left or right where yeah. the block moves. First and 10 now. Motion to the left. Pitch out here to, number to four. Sirico. Sirico. And Sirico gets across the 40, dropped at the 35. He's been a three-year starter. We've well, seen last him. Last year he yeah. started uh, as a wide receiver, Sirico. Him and Racine were both wide receivers. But these are interchangeable parts, as they say. <laughs> and we have to make sure. Let's see if we get five quarterbacks. <laughs> you keep counting. So we got one already, right? That's one. All right, we're going to keep keep going with that number. Got a split to the right, number 16, I believe. And you got Fletcher to the left. So he takes off. the ball. And Rydell stops him yeah, after a pickup of two, three. Oh, let's use on the bottom of that. Looks like number five. Dave Fletcher. Number the ball. five is Giordano. Was at the bottom. Okay. Tyler Giordano. I wonder if he's all right, uh, Giordano. <laughs> was it a Mawa game? He took a lot of, uh, had to go off the field because he had cramps? Yes. Well, this is a big play right here for uh, Riverdale. One of many today. Now number six come in, John. And that's Racine. Yeah. At yeah. QB. Two. And he takes the snap. And he rolls, may run, he may rolls, run. stops, looks, throws, hits his man, and uh, he has Malachi. It's close. Oh, no, it's not. Fourth and short. Fourth, looks like on a 35, Larry. Oh, no, boy, that's really, okay, you got a yard. Fourth and one. Short one, as they say. Oh, we got the temperature, 72 degrees. Feels more than that. Oh, it was nice. When I came home from uh, Orly... Orly Beach, Larry, I put all, all the windows up. It was beautiful. I felt like it was in air conditioning. Yeah. The, the house was about 95 degrees, and then it dropped to 70. Number six is quarterbacking. We've got to watch our monitor better. Than Look at this formation. <laughs> this is tight. Everybody, everybody's on the He's going to have room there. Watch this. Good fake. He's running. He's got it. And he dies for the first down. I believe he's got it. I got to give number 11 the tackle, Sangus. He's a neighbor of uh, Gene Dumarask. <laughs> George, he's the young man that broke his leg last yeah, year. Last year, oh, I, yeah, ankle or something. He's a nice, nice size. 6'1", 180. Got nice blonde hair. Achilles now calling signals. And we have a penalty. That's 12, I guess 12 players Motion on the field. against Riverdale. <laughs> yeah, if you count, look, they got 12 players. Yep, count them. Well, we, we, when all these guys playing, sometimes you get a little confused who's supposed to come in. <laughs> you know, 12 men on the field for this team, 
at this condition, these, this time of the year, it's not bad. You could have 13 or 14 <laughs> come running in and out. Well, you know, if you can get away with it, why not? <laughs> uh, yeah, there's the head coach right there for Westwood. Dennis Hard. Let's see. And you got his assistant, looks like Izzo, and Amelia's up here in the booth. seen calling signals in a shotgun. Holds the ball, and he is tackled from behind as he put the ball into the hands of Fletcher. Took it out and tried to get some yardage. It, it looks like 90, 90 for Westwood made the stop. Oh, look at that young man, 90. Our. Amusen. They, they call oh. him Depot? Olo Depot, Depot Amusen. We're going to call him Depot. Depot, yeah, Depot. <laughs> <laughs> Depot. Oh, I got to come up with a nickname there, liar. <laughs> That's got to be an easy nickname. When you think about it. <laughs> I may have one by the end. Mr. Depot. Under seven minutes to go in the first quarter. There's no score. Riverdell is moving. And, and Racine is calling signals. Pitches out here. He has his man on the outside. Fights his way down. And I'm trying to see. Number, number two? No. Well, it was a tackle. Or oh, maybe 75 for... It is uh, number two, John. Yeah, number two on the Mullet. stop. They are so far away from us, we can't see it. Well, you I know, mean, they're way off. And, and you know, the quarterback, they keep changing. You got, we got to make sure we keep pick up the quarterback. Looks like seven is the quarterback at this point. Mm. Fletcher. Could be, no. No, it's back to nine. <laughs> Jelly. But see then, and... Gillies. And we got a timeout on the field. We're going to go Gillies. Yeah, six minutes, five seconds to go, no score. When time comes back in, it'll be Riverdale's ball, third down and seven yards to go. What a beautiful view. Ugh. So Gellies, Gellies is the quarterback. I think. It is, no, it is, number nine. We gotta, we're going to have to look at the monitor really close on these I'll pick him up. Gellies is back, Gellies looks, he throws, Screen. completes. Oh. He got, got his man. Sirico down the side, far sidelines. He gets knocked out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Knocked out of bounds by Giordano and Baez. So 20-yard pass play and run by number four, Sirico, who was a wideout, and he's also a running back. <laughs> he's also a wideout. So it's, the ball is sitting on the 10-yard line. First and goal. Getting full 10 yards, it looks like. Number two going out, Mellet. And number 21, Mellet. Two Mellets. And there's another penalty, too many men on the field. They're gonna have, Riverdale's gonna have to get this thing worked out when they have so many kids coming in. Yeah, you gotta have a counter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one, one person yells out, and he counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, 12. This is going to take uh, a game or two for Coach Nymphus and his staff to have this whole thing figured out as to make sure you got the right number of kids, players on the field. You know, Larry, you don't know what you have until you have until you have it. game. <laughs> yeah, until you have it. <laughs> you and I come up with some good statements. Right. You can't go wrong with that statement, Larry. Uh, why can't you go wrong with that? <laughs> All right, so we're, they're on about the six. 16-yard line. We've seen he's got knocked down, picked up a couple. 75 for Westwood. Mayak, Tyler Mayak, a senior, 5'11", 190. We could call him, he could be Mack Truck Mayak. Mack Truck Mayak. <laughs> the Mack Truck. <laughs> so there's a quick nickname. Second down now for, Wet, uh, for Riverdale. Clock is running, 5.25 to go. Jellies is still the quarterback. Gillies back, looks, looks, fires, has his man and tackled immediately by, G looks like uh, number Rydell. Number 15, Rydell. That's a number two tackle for Rydell. McHale was with the uh, completion. Going to bring down a third and goal from the 13. And you know they have a very good kicker here. Yeah, it's Gillies, the guy who yeah, kicked last year. He does year. everything, he does everything. Well, yeah, that's him. He's a kicker, he's a quarterback. <laughs> On this team, you gotta be ready to come running in. You notice everybody <laughs> hangs in a group right by the coach. 
He does a great job, DJ. Fletcher is to the right. Gilly looks, <laughs> looks, has time, throws to the corner, and incomplete. That Baez was, was back there defending. He, did, he was the one who actually knocked the ball away on number six, Jack Racine. And now here we go with the field goal, right? And I believe the field goal. And we know who that will be. Number nine. Number nine. We'll try it. <laughs> it is. Boy, he knocked that ball through last year to win the game. That was a great game. It was played on oh. a Saturday afternoon in remember, sweltering heat. Remember the key penalty right yeah, before yeah. that to just yeah. move it along. So the ball is going to be placed on the 18. That will be a 28-yard field goal almost straight on. Snap, down, kick, up, high enough, deep enough, and it is no good. It no went good. to the left. It went to the left, yes. So the, P, the field goal fails at 417. A lot of Westwood time. Westwood will have the ball. There is no score here at Riverdale High School. You are watching WCTV, the all-volunteer group in the township of Washington, as you look at the student body of the Riverdale, uh, Riverdale High School and fans. They were sending smoke uh, signals up to some Indian tribes. Early in the game, Larry, with the powder. <laughs> well, Westwood will take over now. Ball's on the 20. Kubia calling signals in a shotgun. Hand off to Brown. Looks like 34 for Riverdale made a nice stop in that play. Connor so Murphy. Pickup of uh, two yards, second and eight for Westwood. Westwood's trying to uh, establish a ground gain here, John. Riverdale has great motion, quickness on that line, and, and they send blitzes all over the place. That's, Brown that's around the nice left shot. side, he's dropped for a loss. Looks like number three, Frungen. Matt, number three, he also he's a kick returner too. I think Westwood tried one pass last series. It was a uh, a rollout to the left, and Kubi couldn't find anybody. He was dropped. So now they're looking at a third and ten as he lost two yards. You got to pass here. <laughs> <laughs> Try something, maybe like a screen pass, maybe. Yeah, bubble screen. Something. Well, you got. Twins right, twins left. Got single coverage on the. It looks like Daly on the outside. Sirico yeah. moves over now. Karubia hit as a blitz comes from the outside and knocks Karubia down. Number 58, Aaron Fornox. He's the nose guy, makes the sack. He came around the uh, the right side and he just lined up Karubia and laid him out. Well, Larry's a big got loss, great speed. so the ball is now on the 18-yard line. And this makes good... I'm sorry, the ball's on the 12-yard line. This should be a great field position. Oh, yeah. Hughes is standing on the uh, midfield. Yeah. He's touching, say, by one inch. Ball's a low snap. Oh, a fake. Ruby is going to run... Karubia runs it out to the left. I, <laughs> the only thing I can explain, John, when the ball came back and it bounced, he thought he didn't have a chance. So we said he'd have a good field position. You couldn't get any better than that. The ball came back and it, it, it bobbled. It rolled back. Yeah. I think the young man thought that he didn't have a chance and maybe he could run, but he had to run like 18 yards yeah, for this, a first down. This gives uh, Riverdale right on the 10-yard line. Beautiful play, the defense, you know. They stayed home and made a great stop. So, yeah, they did. And now Westwood is, uh, has their backs really to the wall now on the uh, first. I believe it's going to be first and goal on the 10. It, well, they have it on the, looks like on the 11, <clears throat> the number one. Handle right in the middle. <laughs> looks like Fletcher, number seven, had the ball. Number six, uh, for six, Will Borgeson. The ball is now sitting on the eight-yard line. Well, this is where you have to, your, your line has to do the job if you're rooting for uh, the Cardinals. And in the case of River, 
The Hawks, they, they don't care. They want to go in right now. Racine is the quarterback, by the way. New yep. quarterback, number two now. He looks, oh. he looks, and oh, nothing. And Depot gets him from behind. Depot and number six. Yeah, Home Depot. B Borgeson. Yes. Borgeson helped, and that was Home Depot. So it's third down now. And the ball is on the 10 yard line. So we have picking up some nicknames, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> we have Home Depot. <laughs> Not Home Depot. <laughs> Hey, home depot. <laughs> All right. That's a nice thing. Oh, Jesus. All right. We just, we're uh, 20 minutes into the year. <laughs> Two nicknames. All right. All right. Goal. Racine's calling signals. Fletcher's to his right. <laughs> Looking. Fletcher throw a quick one. And he has it for a... Uh, Number nope. eight. Nope. They got him on the one-yard line. That was Tyler Molassi. Or, or half-yard line. Molassi made the catch, looks like. That's on the half yard line. Let's get that, get a close up of yeah, that. Yeah, look how close it is. Half yard line. Fourth and a half. That was a nice quick hitter. Just missed it. Nice throw. Uh, Sirico, right? Sirico to Malachi. Yeah. <clears throat> well, this is where you're knocking on the goal. It fourth down, big play. It should be a, t should be a, a, a keeper. And I if, believe he <coughs> fell in after the pileup. Touchdown. So by number number six, the quarterback. Racine, uh, Racine. Racine. Yeah, you thought it'd be a, a quarterback keep that close. So with the um, dropping of Corubio on the 10-yard line on a punt, it took four shots, but uh, Riverdale got it in. Jack and they Racine. score a touchdown, and they go up six to nothing. And if the clock is correct, we just ended the first quarter. And you know what happened, how they scored that touchdown? As the quarterback was stationary, a back came and just hit him and pushed him into the end zone. And the kick is good. So we start the we second quarter. 7 nothing. Riverdale leads Westwood. You are watching WCTV, the all-volunteer group from the township of Washington, Bergen County, New Jersey. Okay. So it was 7 nothing. started the second quarter at Riverdale. We take a quick scan of the uh, whole field. Gillies will kick as we start the second. Well, now we know. If we don't know the name, we call Gillis. He's our man. Number eight. Nice number high end over end kick. To the and we got a play. Motion. You don't see that much, do you? You see offside, but you don't see motion. What was the motion? Against Riverdale. Illegal procedure. Yeah, I know that. But somebody must have moved. Somebody must have moved, I guess. Offside, you see. I don't know. I never saw that. All right. They'll back them up five yards. Well, Gillies will try it again. Had a nice <laughs> kick. Mays, uh, number 24, Mays is back for Westwood, and number five, Giordano. Yeah. Giving plenty of room. I thought it was going to be cooler. What happened to the cool weather? I guess, well, we the have sun to wait came till out. We got to wait till November. <laughs> Another nice kick. Oh, look how high. Coming back. To the back to five. Five-yard line. There he goes. Still on oh, his he's got feet, room. still going. Giordano's still on his feet. He's down the far sideline. One man to beat. He's still going. He's, going. he's on the way. He's gone. He's gone. Touchdown. Whoa. 95 yards. Kickoff return. No penalty. 95 yard TD run. That's Tyler Giordano. What a run. And some nice blocking down there. But he, but he had great. He had great movement and great blocks as he was. And he waited. Oh, he, he waited ran. all the way down. That's you know, a nice run for that young man. And you know, Larry, you know why he made that distance? I got to find my sheet. That's IV. Tyler <laughs> IV Giordano. He, he, that helped him on that run. What a 95 run. 95 yard touchdown return by. 
Ivy. So now Westwood's gonna try to PAT here. <clears throat> Constantine will try, Baez will hold. And we have a timeout. Westwood had to call a timeout. You know, Tom, after a big touchdown like that, <laughs> sometimes you have to call a timeout because the exuberance of the players get you get yeah. involved and you don't get ready to come out quickly and before you know it, you're not set and you got to call a timeout. So there's a timeout on the field. We have 14, 11.44 to go. Westwood's going to attempt the PAT to tie this game at seven. Well, the crowd's a little buzzing on that one. Oh, huh? what a run. Well, you know what? It, you look a great block, great move. The old IV did it for him. <laughs> you got to tell people why he's called IV. Well, <laughs> we got a minute. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, you know, he was in the game. I'm not sure which team if they were playing. Mawa. Last oh, year, right. Mawa. Give him the and, first game. And he had three or four timeouts every time they had to give him water or whatever. So we decided <laughs> that he's got to have IV when he comes out. He That's was, what his mother said. He was cramping like crazy. <laughs> yeah. we, he and was he, quick then. And he, then we christened him IV Giordano. Baez will hold, kick is up, and it is good. So Westwood ties Riverdale 7-7 on a 95-yard kickoff return by Tyler Giordano. And we will get ready for Westwood's kick to Riverdale in just a moment. <laughs> That's always. Kessentine will bang it down. Take it in. No. Stop by number three uh, for Westwood. Millette with the, uh, the run back. Sean Pampin made the stop for Westwood. So here we, all right, so in the second quarter, 7-7. 35-yard line. Out comes uh, Gillies. Jack Gillies as the quarterback. So we've had Gillies and Sirico, right? Two out of the five have have played well, in we the got, game. We, we, we may get more. I don't know. You may Oh, may yes, not. yes. He likes five of them. Fletcher's to his trips. Until he's left. You got trips to the right. Uh, now Fletcher will move to his right. Trips, yeah, trips to the right. H hand off to Fletcher. And oh. Fletcher hits. Well, we got 90 with the stop. And you know who that is. That's Home Depot. Home Depot. Number 90. You know, he, imagine he'll say, you mean to tell me I own Depot? Oh. Imagine own, owning that, the shares. Oh, was that like, does Langone They're own that? Well over $100 does, does, a share. Does Langone own that? Too? Oh, if it is, we should hang out with them. <laughs> <laughs> Home go. Depot went up, it's well over $100 a Could, share. We, we, we gotta go to, we, we have to go to dinner with them. Oh, absolutely. So he goes in motion, hand off, whoop, and a whistle blows. Oh. Let's see what we got here. Where's our referee? Motion against Riverdale. Hey, I told you we're going to go to dinner with our old friend Lee Eisenberg. Now that's on the 17th? Or? 17th of September. Yeah, we're going to meet him. I got to call him. Okay. Lee was a, uh, a big supporter of Bergen Catholic back in the uh, early days of WCTV. Uh, I think that'd be a great night for oh, you. Oh, we got to reminisce. Uh, oh, 25 absolutely. years of uh, high school football. You uh, think four hours <coughs> would be enough? No. <laughs> We have to. <laughs> Did the bottle of wine will hold up? <laughs> oh. No, you know, I, I'm doing 30 days without a drink. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Gilly's back. Looks, looks. Watch it throw. Has his man. The ball is knocked away. Well, he was and bobbling. Bobbled in. That came out. Mays was on the coverage. Bring up a third down now. Well. Third and 11. You know what happens when you lose your helmet? You got to sit out one. Yep, you got to sit down. So 56 is taking a little walk. That's Jake Manning, offensive tackle. Let's see now. Well, this I expected there was going to be, you know, penalties and offsides. And uh, the first game, you know what? They didn't. Of course, it starts so early. Zero they, didn't, week. They, they didn't have many scrimmages. Coaches well, were you like and that. I, you and I, uh, we got to get it to our A game. You know, it takes time. I thought, I thought we were there already. Oh, I think so. But that's in, in our eyes. <laughs> Gilly's back, Raiders. looks, throws downfield, oh, has his man throw. wide what open. He's going, and Mays gets him. As a, he went, he did a, all he did was do a stretch play right down. Joe Mellett, all he did, John, on the inside was and just I, do a 
That was from right the, the 33. Middle. Right. To the 15. That's 33 17. 52 yards. That was nothing more than a seam pattern right oh, down the what middle. A throw. And the throw was there. In fact, he had three going deep. Was that Gillis? Gillis with the throw? Oh, what? Paramus Catholic just lost 18 16 to uh, Philadelphia team. Fletcher has an opening and rolls into the end zone, untouched. Fletcher, 15 yards. Fletcher, third, that could be your third quarterback, I think, John. Oh, yeah, it is. So Fletcher takes the uh, snap, goes right up the middle, and I don't think yards. he was touched, and runs it in for TD. a touchdown. Riverdale. So two plays, Mallet with a long touchdown reception, and then Fletcher running it in untouched. And Riverdale <laughs> comes right back after that long run that tied the game by Westwood to <coughs> score a quick touchdown. So now, well, we're waiting for the extra point. Well, Gillies will try, and he puts his foot into it, and is good. So with 10.28 to go in the half, Riverdale takes a 14-7 lead over Westwood here in Riverdale High School. You are watching WCTV, the all-volunteer group from the township of Washington. Our shows can be seen on this channel that you're watching now, Fios, channel 24 throughout most of the state, on Cablevision, channel 76, Monday nights at 9 o'clock. And, of course, all our shows, whether they're sports or otherwise, can be seen on WCTV.us. All right. Remember, we, we couldn't even meet on, good, on Ooh, Fridays. Oh, pooch kick. And it's taken... Did he call a fair catch? Oh, I guess he did. If you take too many steps when you call a fair catch, you may get a, a little, a little Randolph, flag. Yeah. So that was 21. Yeah. Well, he was. Randolph. Randolph. Yeah. He's a junior, tight end, defensive end. They didn't want to kick the ball to Giordano. Well, I, I smart I, move. I would not kick, to, not to Ivy. Remember the time we were talking to Tony Carsage on our great show, conversation with Tony oh. Carsage, and we talked about the time they kicked to. Um, <laughs> uh, Cushing. Cushing. Don't kick the ball to Cushing. And, yeah. and on that play, Cushing. 70 yards later, get. and the game was over. <laughs> and Tony was running up and down with them. I think he almost beat them to the end zone. He was going to tackle them. <laughs> that, was, that was unbelievable. What an athlete. I think he's finished now, right? He, uh, he was at Houston. Uh, yeah, I think he's uh, I think, he's I think he'll be tired. I think. Bad snap. Carubia. Oh, you got a throw. Carubia throws downfield. And look, we're going to say intended for Baez to be generous. Yeah, number generous. two was in the area. Yeah. That's we're going to be generous and say Baez was in the area. It's about two, about two yards. The ball came back again to uh, Carubia a little bit uh, strange. Well, you know what? The blitzing. Yeah. With, with this defense, you know, he, he'll have blitzing from all different sides. Oh, here a couple of our people over there. <laughs> Look at Larry. Oh, that's Pat Wright to the right. Look at and him. to the left is the great Brian Carr. He's got his own company. Brian has his own company. Oh, well, here we go. I, so we're on a 32-yard line. <coughs> Intercepted. It was read beautifully. Number seven. No, I don't know. It was number two. Fletcher. Like. Looks like Fletcher. Number two. Number two, I'm sorry. It was Mellet. Joe Mellet. Well, if, you know, we got two Mellets, so if we got a problem, we just call a Mellet. <laughs> we, and, we that, Mike. and Mellet read that play beautifully. He stepped right into the uh, passing lane and picked off Carubia. And that mojo is just continue with Riverdale. I don't know what's happening right now. 10-14 uh, to go in the first half. Uh, uh, first, first half of the year. Oh, they say he was down. In high school ball, if you're down, you're down. You, okay. In pros, you can stand up and yeah. run. Once he you're caught, down. So he was down when he stood up. You take those yardages away and right. place it where it was. So they're on a 36-yard line. Hand off to Fletcher. Fletcher fighting and figuring his way to the 30-yard line. So you have a, about six yards. We'll give him six yards to Fletcher. So second down, Dave give it Fletcher. a long five. He, he kicks returns. 
So nine is Gillis. Gillis gets most of the snaps, though. But we have three quarterbacks so far that have been used by Coach Nymphius. I got a funny feeling that he, as time goes on, this is going to be your quarterback. Well, yeah, you're always going to have And there goes oh, Fletcher again. He's gone. He hit the hole and he is gone. <clears throat> Untouched on the left side. Fletcher, and 31 yards. So he's racking up the yards. And Riverdale is starting to rack up the points as they now go to 20 to 7 over Westwood. He, he waited for the hole to break to the left, and he went untouched. Great call by the offensive coordinator for Riverdale. <clears throat> and the offensive coordinator for Riverdale is none only then oh, we probably Coach haven't. Nymphius. He no. calls the plays. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, let's see. Off well. Yeah, you're right. And Gillies puts it up. And good. So at 9.31, Riverdale extends its lead over Westwood, 21 to 7, here in the Riverdale High School. The facility, beautiful facility here. And you are watching WCTV, the all-volunteer cable access group from the Township of Washington. Gives me a chance to tell you that next week, next week, we might as well announce it. We will be at Paramus Catholic that had a hard-fought loss today. They went to uh, Pennsylvania, lost 18-16. We'll be at the Paramus Catholic to cover the Pope John 23rd Paramus Catholic game. And then just to look a little further down the road, I believe on the following week, the 14, we'll be at Westwood when Ramsey comes to call. So those are our games that are on the schedule. We don't want to give you too many of our games and confuse you because I get confused easily. <laughs> And there's a possibility that we'll have the meatball celebration. Oh, what, well, let me explain that while we are coming at the meatball celebration. John Francola's lovely wife, Peggy Francola, makes about 50 to 70 meatballs, depending upon how tired she gets. Puts <laughs> them in a wonderful gravy. I buy the bread. And then we hand sandwiches out at halftime to the uh, cheerleaders. Our staff eats about 40 of them. <laughs> yeah. Then we have to keep some for the... Coaches. And coaches get it. Yeah. Giordano tries it again. Watch him. And uh, there, there he goes again. <laughs> oh, he's got room. He's got some more he's room. Block. At this time, he's they're going to knock him out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> this young man, nobody's going to kick the ball to him. Connor Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> he's been the best offensively of Westwood. That time, you had five uh, Riverdale runners chasing him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Last time, there was enough Westwood defenders <laughs> in, in, in front of him so he could break it. I'll tell you what, he waits for the block. Once you give him a little block, he dances. And, and you know, the IV, we better check if he had the IV before the game. That could I'll be the reason. What, it's hot <laughs> and humid. I could use some of that myself. Oh, God. <laughs> I, how about a glass of water? that work? A little Poland spring? Anything. Cold and wet. Aqua Giordano, fresca. he has some time now, sets his feet, <laughs> throws it downfield. And the ball floats out of bounds. Brown was to Brown. Intended for uh, Brown. So second down. What, what you need now, Larry, you need a sustaining drive. You know, yeah, you need, to, you, know, you, don't, you need to take some clock off and the 9-13. You, you don't want to give that momentum the to mojo. The, the mojo the, is. You get is, the feeling if they get the ball back right away, they're going to try to score and make absolutely. it 28. Baez. Look at the blitz. Oh, they read that one. Um, that Larry, almost went the other way. They had two. They had three defensive linemen and two blitzes on both sides. So you had five people that came in to get the quarterback. That was Kupfer, number 20, Ethan Kupfer. When he saw Baez swing out to the right, he read it as okay. a swing pass, and he just came with an air. Uh, he could have run all the way back. He could have run to Paramus. Yeah. But they do a beautiful job sending blitzes from all over the place. Right. Even from the even from uh, their sideline, they can get away with it. Pitch out, and it's stopped. It's completed by probably a yard. Let's see. Maybe. I'm trying to pick up the young man number 20. I think it was number 20. I'm going to give it to. Yeah. Uh, I believe that pass went out Ethan. to uh, Mays. So it's a fourth down and Couple ten. Bro. And Westwood's going to have to kick again. And this has been an adventure so far. 
Well, they, you know, special teams blitz. are just as important as defense and offense. Sometimes, a lot of times, those teams will win games for you. You got to get the, first of all, you got to get a good snap. Let's see what the snap looks like. Nice Come, snap. Nice. Oh, he's, nice kick. Blacked again. Coming out to Sirico. He has. <laughs> and he is dropped at the 15 yard line. Looks so, like number 57 on the stop for Westwood. We got to get some of these young men. 57. Looks like Loveridge, Andrew Loveridge. If not, I, I got him. <laughs> I gave him a tackle. <laughs> so now it's Oh, look at this, Larry. What's that? We're seeing the, oh, there's the uh, oh, meatball that's game. That's last year's meatball, Little Yeah, meatball. you and I. Oh, I'm hungry now, you know. Look at that, what a job we did. This is the meatballs. Now we're making, people are waiting to get their meatball sandwiches. There's Larry scooping up, look at the size of that meatball. And me pulls two and a half pounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. <laughs> and that was in a close game. We had all that. That was a close game. We had to do that at <laughs> halftime. That's right. And, and that's the end of the game. Everybody up here in the press box, guess who didn't eat? John and me. Oh, look at it. Look here at he goes. Move. That's Gillies. And he gets across the 20. Then he wanted to eat with us because we had to get back on the, on the air to call the yeah. game. And what do you think? By the end of the game, there were no sandwiches left. Remember that the woman where... Some of the smoke that we were sending up from the meatballs, her, her boyfriend or husband sat on it. She was all upset. I gave her a little tissue. I said, here's a tissue for you. <laughs> so we'll be going back to the scene of the crime, Larry. No, well, I didn't do anything. I, <laughs> I hope that person is not in the stand. I'd be in trouble. All right, back to the game. I think we have another quarterback. Fletch is the quarterback, and he runs to the 30-yard line as Gillies was a wide receiver here. Yeah, because Fletcher had a touchdown, 15-yard touchdown, but that could have been from a running back. No. Third down and one yard to go. Gillies runs in now as the uh, quarterback, I think, <laughs> unless they break the yeah. huddle. Yeah, Gillies is the one who does the majority, Yeah. pretty much. Yeah, now you got Fletcher still, number seven. So that's the fourth one. Larry. Quarterback keeper. And, Fletcher. ooh, that's close. I, ooh. I think we're going to have a fourth down. This is, yeah, I, if that's where that referee's got his The one was going foot. way close to the line. From the far side. This no, is nine. Good. So it was Gillis. Yeah, it was Gillis. With the it's going to be fourth down. There's a nice stop in there by Westwood. I think they're going with Mays is dropping back like he thinks guaranteed. No, they're not. They're going. They're going to go for oh, it. Oh, come on. It's only a yard. <laughs> Hand off. He's got it. First and more, and he's going to go. There goes Fletcher. He's going. He's running away. He's down to the 20, 10, 15, and tackle from behind by Mays. 70 yards. On a fourth and a yard, Fletcher Se goes 70 yards. 70 yards. For Fletcher. Boy, they racking up yards here yeah, like crazy. Oh, Total but yards. you know what? He was just extending. He's coming out for some gear, a little air that. He's coming out run. for IV. Oh, there he is. David Fletcher, 70 yard 70 run. 70 yard run. Wow. Look at, look at, you have somebody looking at him and said. <laughs> Number 13 oh, oh. comes over. It's the humidity that's Berninger. gonna get you. you oh. Here's a handoff inside. inside. It looks like I don't know. number we'll six see. made the stop. For that's Westwood. Borgeson. B Will Borgeson, number five was the running. Cole Morrell. Oh, no. So um, with second and goal, ball on the five. Gillies will now call timeout with 6.13 <laughs> to go. Riverdale leads West with 21 to seven. They're on the five yard line. They're knocking on the door for some more points. Second and goal on the five. Gillies is calling signals. Look at that, he's got it. I you, believe Morell is in the backfield. Pitch back out oh, to Sirico. He may want to throw, but he's gonna hang right, on to it. Run. He goes into the goal line and jumps in for a touchdown. A little trickery. And Sirico runs it in for a touchdown with 6.04 to go. And Riverdale takes a commanding 27-7 lead over Westwood. 
Nice little pass, handoff in the backfield. Nowhere to go, he went all the way. He ran about 20 yards. Oh yeah. <clears throat> As you'd call it, trickery. Trickery. <laughs> so now, and this usually, the kicker is, is outstanding kicker. Let's see. Oh, look at, look at that, follow through. Excellent kick. Gillies puts it through. So with six minutes, four seconds to go in the first half, Riverdell takes a 28 to seven lead over Westwood. You are watching WCTV, the all volunteer voice from the township of Washington. All right, here we go. Six right, Gillies will kick, pushes it up in the air. Fair catch call for by the up man. Number 20, and that would be Xavier Goodson. So Westwood will take over with 6.03 to go in the half. They trail 28 to seven. Here is Vito Trous. He's always by women though. Look at, look how many women. I, I see One, five two, women. One, two, three. Six. Oh, wait a sec, six, seven, eight, eight What's women. that guy doing here? I have no idea. <laughs> eight women around Vito. Vito Trous is a uh, World War II veteran, POW. I think he'll become vice president next year for uh, the Italian club. Vito? <laughs> Can you believe he's, what, 93? 93. My God, God bless him. Yep. He eats like he's 20. <laughs> <laughs> Quick pitch outside and the ball dropped. Let's see what they're going to call. Incomplete pass. That's close. <laughs> and well, number four, Sirico said, wait a second. Come on. That's intended for Rydell. No second down and 10. And the lights are on. Yeah, the lights a, are on. It this is good. a relatively new field. I remember the old field. Yeah, this is a new field, right? Right by. It's a year old. Because the last time, the one time, right around the 20 yard line, there used to be almost a puddle over there with the water. It used to sink all the water in that one area. And Very nice. They had to quit our game. Was postponed one time between these two teams. Got a nice got a nice system, a nice field here. I love it, that's nice, beautiful. Nice complex. By De I mean, oh. Rubia, and that's sniffed out by uh, Riverdale. Boy, Riverdale is fast. Extremely fast. They are fast. fast. Their linemen are fast. <laughs> <laughs> Forget the linebackers. They are, they run, you know they say the coaches always want their players to run to the ball. Well, they, they go to the ball. They run to the ball. Yeah, he would love. He would love to go back to uh, MetLife Stadium. Um, that was what a game! Remember that game? Oh, oh. excellent! We yeah. watched that game. That was fantastic. Hey, put they beat? They beat Ramapo. From a yeah, they beat Ramapo. Ramapo's a good team. Ramapo was the only team that beat them early in the year, yeah. right? So but times that day, Estevez said, "I'm going to make a house call and win that game in both the offense and defense." Groovy oh, is got hit. Room. Oh, the ball's tipped away, <laughs> intended down there. It looks like number eight. Yeah, I believe for Brown. For Brown. Jeremy Brown. And he got hit just as he's throwing the ball. Nice throw, by the way. Nice throw. Extended the arm, was willing to give his body for the pass, and now a punt. Uses back for Riverdale. Carubio will try. <clears throat> and I like nice snap back. Oh, that was almost it was partially. It could have been. I don't yeah. know. It looked like it. Ball rolls out at midfield, somewhere and around the 50-yard line. I don't know if it, was, it gave the impression yeah, when it came ball, out like a spin. Ball spin, barely touched, but was touched. So Riverdale will take over first and ten at midfield. They lead 28 to seven with 4:55 to go in the first half. Nice crowd here for an August night. Excellent. This is the uh, first regular season game August we've 31st. covered in August in 32 years. Well, it's the first time they've played a yeah. game on August 31st. It's zero week. This is zero week. Now, yeah. I think Ridgewood is not one of the few schools that are not playing this week. Uh, they'll make it up. But why I don't, don't they when. make it? Why they don't have a bye week then. Why do we say zero week? Why don't you just make first week I don't one? Know. Is, I, isn't week one of football? I'm going to take that up with the NJSIAA. Well, you know what? In other states, sometimes they play zero week in comparison to what New, New Jersey does. Gillies in back of the uh, center. 
looks, 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 <laughs> runs out. He Plenty will take off. He's got some room on the right side, and he will run out of bounds at the Cardinal 40-yard line. So he, so he went from the 45, 5 to 15 yards. 15-yard <laughs> I tell you, Gillies at the quarter. He'll, he'll be the predominant quarterback on the squad. I, I mean, I'm, I've seen it less than a half, and I can't make. But you get the feel. I get a feeling that he has the poise. Um, and that and he's only a, a junior. He's only a junior. He's only a junior. And don't forget, I, Sirico's a junior. I mean, you could bring, bring the other quarterbacks you want in, but right. I think he has the poise. He really yeah. does. He does everything. He kicks, okay. he runs, he throws. What and, else you want? And he just sits and looks where he's going to go and makes the move. Right. Really impressive. I agree. Here they come around the left side. And number six we're seeing, I guess. That's we're seeing. <coughs> Notice they go, they go wide, they go in, they smack. Well, this they, way they no, nobody knows where they're coming. Right. They have Westwood off balance on all their plays. Six, four, Bergen Catholic is leading Grayson, 13 to three. Don That's Bosco, no score. Paramus, 27, Parsippany Hill, seven. Rutherford, 21, Manchester, six. These are the scores that are coming in. A lot of more games start at 7 p.m., which will be in five minutes. Gillies keeps, falls forward, picked up Couple a of yard, yard, maybe. <clears throat> St. Joe's of uh, Monville, they play tomorrow down in Georgia. Third and four. A long four, short five. We got a game coming up. Don't go ahead. On October 6th, when we are covering St. Joe's, and it's going to entertain Bergen Catholic. That should what be. Game that's what a game. <laughs> oh, we, we got, got offside. Yeah. I believe Westwood jumped. Yes. That John, that is going to be some game on October. Huh? You better get there now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a game that'll be. That game is scheduled for a 2.30 start. Yeah, because of SAT. Up at, up, yeah, SAT's up at uh, St. Joe's. We're covering that game. Then the following week, we come back and we got uh, Mawa at Westwood. That's always a battle. Oh. Mawa's supposed to be very good this year. Yeah. From, from yeah. Early, small or early indications. You know, it's, uh, it's football. Yeah, first down. Zero week. Gillies Wanch oh, throws down field pick. wide open. Wide open, Mac McHale. He, McHale. There wasn't a soul there. 28 yards pass. So 28 yards. I mean, he, did some, it, it, he, he had the greatest move in the world. Well, there was a miscommunication by... Uh, well, you know what happened? He looked and he said, wait a minute, there's nobody here. I mean, so right it, was, it was a fake. I think. Uh, fake in the line. Yeah, no, it was a fake by. Uh, the QB. Billy's, yeah, he faked and that brought the, uh, the safety uh, in the corner in. up. And they bit big time. Kick is up. And it's good. But well, we are 35 to 7 with 2.55 to go. Riverdell is taking total command of this game as we approach the halftime. All right, here's your kick. Short again. But this time it's taken. <laughs> and he runs it up. That was Xavier Goodson. Don't kick the ball to Giordano. That's been their, well, uh, that's, their total offense today. Well, I West. agree with you. He'll be a marked man from you know, that John, one. We don't, we, don't, we don't have anybody come with us tonight because of the rain for stats. But right. from the line of scrimmage, Westwood's got to have paltry numbers <clears> in offense. <throat> yeah. Right. And this is the big battle of the birds. Right now, the Riverdale, the Hawk has got the oh, call. Oh, the Hawk is doing a job over the... Uh, Mace comes out to the right. Over the Cardinal. They both uh, look mean, right? Oh, they both. Both. <laughs> Gillis again. The no. ball was... There wasn't a good handoff there. And let's see what they go. It's a loss there, I believe, John. 
So, uh, one yard loss. Second and 12, that's a two yard loss. Two yards. Second and 12, the clock is rolling down, 227 and a half. Well, we thought what Riverdale would be, and uh, <laughs> with the five quarterback. And speed, speed, speed. And, and coach said, I'm waiting to Look see this. how they do it. Look at the. He was tackled as he got the ball. <laughs> the ball is down at the 25 yard line. And that was num down. poor number two, Nick Baez. <laughs> Baez making, <laughs> getting the ball, just holding on the ball. One forty-seven to go in the first half. I see a little drop coming <laughs> from yeah, the sky. Be. We got some nice clouds up there. Well, I I'll bet you that all five quarterbacks will play today. Pitch out here, the Jaron Brown. Brown. He hits. Couple of yards up, the and that's middle. it. And Riverdale will call a timeout with one. No, they didn't. I'm begging your pardon. I thought they called a timeout. Now they call a timeout with 111. And that was number 87 on the stop. We got to name some of these Riverdale players. 80. Well, I don't have an 87. <laughs> Mr. Smith. <laughs> Mr. Smith made the tackle. I checked my list twice. Like Santa Claus. I was Claus. like Santa Claus. Checking it twice. <laughs> and I came up with a nine-digit differential. <laughs> 78, 87. Looks like there's a, a a chance of a shower here. Let me check my vaunted uh, yeah. weather. Oh, the cheerleader. Look at this. We Whoa. Gotta, we got to get the WCTV's Weather Central. That was an unbelievable flip day. Both of them. Look at this. Excellent job. Oh, with the yeah. young ladies. Next <laughs> week, John's going to get thrown up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> My or cardiologist. Throw, or, or throw up, I'm not sure. <laughs> Probably throw up. <laughs> My cardiologist would, would have a few choice words for that. <laughs> he said, I know you're crazy, but that's over the board. I said, I said they could throw you up, not throw up. <laughs> <laughs> See, I have to lose another 10 pounds, Larry. Then I'll be. 10? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll figure. The only way you're going up is on a, t a trampoline. Oh you know, you bounce and go up. I could look at these flip. We got these cheerleaders are doing a great job over here. All right, Westwood will now kick. I'm telling you, the cheerleaders are going crazy. Use They're flipping, back. doing a great job. I, what, what are we waiting for? I don't know. Something I think we're waiting for a couple more drops. Oh, more rain? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And this has been a problem. Yeah, number seven is going to punt. Borgeson. Borgeson, yeah, they took Kaluby out. Yeah, he's a kick oh, yeah. punter. Snap is up in the air. Nice, nice kick. kick. Hughes fumbles the ball. Fumble the ball, the ball was there. falls on it. Hey, that uh, Borgeson, nice kick, huh? That was an excellent kick. He waited long to kick it, <coughs> but he's got some leg. He does, he does. At, that's that's part okay. of the Borgeson family. Yeah, he ends up at uh, Boston College. Will, no, it's um, that's not, Noel, Noel, no, Noel, Nolan. Nolan's up who there. Who still holds the record for most reception in New Jersey. Oh, God, he was catching them all over the place. And the person he, he beat out has died, so now he, he nobody's even questioning how many he's got. <laughs> he was unbelievable. What a, what a receiver, what a, nice what a receiver. player. And I think the best thing that I remember about him was when he ran 90-some yards to stop uh, one of the... Wald Mawa Waldwick's runners. Yeah. On the one-yard line. On the one-yard line. And they didn't score? Unbelievable. That was one of the greatest plays in that kid's career. Gillies looks now. Throws downfield. He has oh, Sirico oh, look off at that. his oh, fingers. My goodness. A, that would have been a, a, a book a book crash. It was just one, twice. John, if Sirico holds that in... Oh, it's gone. Touchdown. That would have been 63 yards. <clears throat> hey, I think we're going to get a little, a few drops. I think we're going to get more than a few drops. <laughs> we're going to have to get the weather central of WCTV's weather meteorologist. Oh. Is it a he or a she? Uh, I don't know who's working tonight. <laughs> oh, okay. 
<laughs> I think pretty soon they. I they think Gene Dumarisk is working. Oh, tonight. Gene Dumarisk, sure. Yeah. Oh, he's still in Erskine College. He's giving a course at <laughs> Erskine. <laughs> Imagine him at Erskine College. I got to still get him a, a shirt. Look at his run. That's 20. Oh, down the end. I thought it was 20. This 21. is uh, Mellet. Mellet. So Mike Mellet. He's one of the uh, brothers. You got Joe Mellet and you got Mike Mellet. One is a sophomore. He's a sophomore. Look how fast they're on the line. They are ready. <laughs> and the, the linesmen, they're putting this down. Not ready. The ball is put into the ground. And the clock is stopped with 52 seconds. <laughs> That's good. Good coaching by the offensive coordinator and, of course, the head coach. 52 seconds to go in the first half. It's been all Riverdale. You know, they're not big, but they are fast Ooh. and quick. I mean, oh. I've never, I mean, the linemen and... Their defensive linemen look like they have well, see, what I like, I like the defense that comes out of that. They run to the ball. The they blitzes. You know, they just they well blitz. coached. Oh. They well coached. They well coached. And it's tough to, to play against them. Yeah. And they always have these quick uh, runners. There was an receiver. out pattern intended for Racine. Came, <laughs> the ball was delivered just a little sooner than Gillies wow. wanted to. See, he was rushed. Racine last year was a wide receiver. This year is a quarterback, a wide out, defensive back. Well, the quarterback last year was Estevez. Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> a penalty on, uh, yeah, a little roughing the pass. Could be roughing the pass. Yeah, I'll push him. <clears throat> I'll push him close to the goal line. Down. Oh, it's a first down. Yeah. yeah. Well, look at, oh, look at far. The thing is going. So now on a 34, and I see a little drop here, unless somebody is, doesn't like the water and they're just spilling it. We get anything from our weatherman? I think he's asleep. <laughs> the water's coming from the roof, we're told. Well, it could be Not somebody, from the clouds. somebody's emptying in the water bottle. Gilly's back, Gilly's looking. <clears throat> okay. Gilly's looking, looking, throws, has his man, and he's knocked out of bounds at the 25 yard line. They said, they said four players down the seam on a long pattern. So it went four deep, and, right down the middle. And Berniger knew that he had to go out and stop the clock after the reception. Eight yard gain. Oh, he got number nine, Gillies. Gillies is the number one quarterback from what I can see. Got nice size, six foot, 190. Look at this, we got power right. <laughs> Could do anything here. Yeah. Second and two. Gilly's back, looks, looks, being rushed. Oh, and pump? he's dropped. Oh, I thought the ball was gonna. Ooh. He was hanging that ball like a loaf of potato or bread or whatever you want to call it. Depot again? Oh, uh, Home Depot. That's it. <laughs> he's, he's a big boy. Yeah, he is. And you know what, he is getting Better every time he plays, the young man. I think he's a sophomore, isn't he? No, he's a senior. Oh my goodness. Six feet, 250 pounds. And he- Gillies. And the ball bounces. So bring up a fourth down with eight seconds to go. Guess what the play's gonna be? <laughs> Everybody goes. <laughs> Everybody fly pattern. Let's go to the end zone. <laughs> and then just have someone curl in the vacated area. Westwood will put probably three players on the goal line. They should, and all the and big ones, yeah. Let's see, number five is moving back, Giordano, Giordano. IV. Gotta be careful, he catches the ball, he'll bring it back. <laughs> I tell you, he's got nice speed. Oh, he does, he does. 90, high point of Westwood was his 95 yard uh, punt return. Yeah, and what I like, he just kept increasing the speed and nobody could touch. Gillies is back. Has time. Throws downfield. It's caught. No, you can't. No, no. Once you're down. Oh, oh he's down. Oh, oh, oh that, nah, forget that. That's, no, no. That's a nothing. So now there's two seconds. Can Gillies 
Can he, that was good refereeing, by the way. Can he spike you know, the ball? Larry, well, in that no, case, no. you don't make that call. That's it. Yeah. Clock is all right. over. So the half comes to an end. It's been all Riverdale, 35 to seven as they pass and run and have a 35 to seven lead over Westwood Cardinals. You are watching WCTV, the all volunteer group from the township of Washington. To start the second half, uh, Westwood will be kicking off to Riverdale with the score 35 to seven in favor of Riverdale. This is Hughes taking it up to the 40 yard line. We just got some stats downstairs from Greg Matura. Westwood, according to the unofficial stats, had 18 plays for minus 14 yards. That's, well. In the first half. Minus 14 yards. We could, Larry, we could just give the touchdowns, but let's so wait, let's we, wait we, here. Westwood has minus yards on offense. And of course, the, the one touchdown was a 95 yard by, by the one young man who they didn't kick to anymore. Giordano, Ivy Giordano. Let me see, that looks like number 21 for... Uh, yeah, I'm just getting some Mike stuff Mellis here. Is, yeah. um, that was uh, Mike Mellet. Mellet. Yep. Mike Mellet, yep. Trying to get in touch with Brian Carr to get some of these stats, and I lost him. Well, so it's second down, handoff to the left side by Mallet. And you have a lot of new players in the game for Riverdale. So Riverdale, oh, they'll start bringing people in now. They're leading 35 to seven. So it's a first and 10, the ball's on the 50 yard line. And John, just as we thought, talking here in the first half unofficially, now this is unofficial, Westwood had minus yardage. They had the one great play, the run, you know, by Jordana went 95 yards on the kickoff. And it looked like the mojo was coming their way. And then from that point, Riverdale just took. And the score is 35 seven. We can give you, once we get a chance, all the touchdowns. Pass downfield, intercepted, the ball was underthrown. It's taken down 10. by Carubia, and Carubia gets knocked down at the 42-yard line. Well, there's a play that they needed. You know, they got to have some, some positive move right now in this oh. game. Because the first half was all Riverdale, with the exception of the kickoff return by Giordano. And you had three, three of the quarterbacks out of the five. You can see uh, What a beautiful picture that look is. Look at that sky. Uh, you know, there's nothing like the sky like that on the water oh. when you have a thunderstorm, how it lights up. It's, nature is beautiful. Just, just, just look around and observe it and take it in. So it's first and 10 for Westwood. At the 42 yard line, after that interception, a positive play. Caruby has now, looks, throws, lobs one downfield. Out there intended for Mays, incomplete. Sirico was in the area along with Joe Mellet. Yeah, it was a double team on the one receiver that went out on that side. So you're looking at 42 yard line. Second down. Probably one of the best field position they had all night. Kubia throws outside, the ball is incomplete. Looks like to Brown. Brown was, the, yeah, Brown was the intended receiver. Incompleted pass. And that, you know, sometimes it was almost throwing it back. So it's gonna bring up a third. Now I moved over here, John, because the That's window's fine. got too many shadows in there. <laughs> I have to talk over the announcer here. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the other side, which is nice. I'm, I'm on by Ricky, the uh, camera guy, and we'll <laughs> over here. <laughs> so I'm, I'm able to look straight out. We don't have the glass up. The announcer here is uh, Jeff Principe. He's doing a great job. Oh, yeah. So now it's going to bring up a third and 10. If, it, if they're positive interception One, by Carubia. Two. Mays goes out to the left.
Karubia back, getting rushed on the blitz. Out of bounds, and he is hit as he's blitzed. They blitzed in from the out in the middle. Looks like 58 for Riverdale, Aaron Fernal. He's made a couple he's of- He's the uh, nose plays. guard, by the yeah. way. He's a senior, six foot, 195. And, most of these players are around that 190, 195. You know, you, you don't have too many big guys, but they all could run and they all go to the ball. They should have an excellent season. And I'm not putting any jinx on them. Ball, I believe Borgensen will kick. Number seven, yes, yeah. it is number seven. It's Ian comes forward. Nice end over end kick. He's got a great leg. Caught oh. by Hughes on the run. There he goes to the 40, to the 30, jumps over one, but can't. <laughs> Can't avoid him as he's tackled on the 30-yard line. Number two made the stop by a saving stop. He was he was motion. He was moving downfield. <laughs> I think he was looking to go for lunch. Uh, that's going to bring that one back a little bit. Let's see here now the penalty, and yeah, they're going to bring it back. Let's wait for the referee to see who we got. <clears throat> And we are going to have here it is. Ooh. It, tripping. Tripping against Riverdale. So Riverdale. <laughs> they still have pretty good field position. Yeah. Paul is on mid, just at midfield. Still in Westwood territory. 40 yard line, let's say. Uh, no. Nope. Looks like 30. Westwood gets a first down. They run gets a, a first down. They have a fourth down there, it should be first down. Yeah. 35-yard line. Giordano dropped. Number three made a call. That was Frunia, Matt, a senior, 5'9", 185. <laughs> so, Ruby is calling, got the signal now. West. West was on a 44. It's a little bit dark right now here. <laughs> <laughs> it does get dark at night. <laughs> Pitch down the middle. Nice Close catch. Close to a first now. down. That was Baez. Baez. Baez with the catch. First. Close to a first. Nice, nice throw by Karubi, I guess. Going to bring up a third down and four. Quickly, Westwood comes to the line. Giordano's to Kluby is right. Kluby gets the signal. Third and four. Looking at some of the, yeah. eye, oh, look at the blitz coming Hand in. off to Giordano. He got back to the line of scrimmage. He said and that's gonna bring three. up a fourth down. He had Frungen and his friends. So it's gonna be fourth down and four. So Westwood, well, they're not kicking. They gotta go, yeah, fourth and five. So Karubi is calling signals now. <clears throat> And now you got to get some positive, Flyer. Oh, absolutely, gets got to pull down something. Yeah, when you look you, at the. Yeah, you got to take time out. And like. they're going to call timeout. <laughs> so West will call timeout with 8:13 to go. They trail Riverdale, 35 to seven. You are watching WCTV, the All Volunteer Group from the Township of Washington. <clears throat> so fourth down, four yards to go. Fourth and four for Westwood. It's a big play for them. Karubi's calling signals. Giordano is to his right. Giordano looks, looks, fires downfield. Has his man. Great throw. What a throw. Now that's a great throw inside the 15-yard line. that's Brown. Jaden Brown, the uh, running back. That was a heck of a throw. That was a great throw. Best throw for Karubia this year. Now you got to take that throw, put it on <laughs> tape, and show it to him. Yeah, that was thrown... Nice spiral. In between defenders. Read and it a great perfectly. catch by Brown. And Brown made the catch. Karubia. Hmm. And he slides out of harm's way and may have picked up a couple of yards. Yeah, positive. Anytime positive, that's all. He's taking charge, number 10. First year at quarterback. 13 yard line. Kubi getting signals. He's got the play. I think he's got the play. Yes. <laughs> he's slowly walking back. Well, 
<laughs> Some time is going to get to a point. Kubia looks, looks, throws downfield. Incomplete he, intended for Baez in the corner. He, he was he was open that time. Uh, he took a little long to throw it. Had a, he, had a, he had a step. You have to throw that before he makes that move. And now what you're doing, you're building for next next week. You know, you want to get some positive here. Yeah, we've said that many times when teams come in, you look to see what you can build this build on. You, you know the mistakes, you yeah. correct, and you say, this is what we did well, we could do it again if we just concentrate. And yeah, he got trips to the right. He goes, Karubia looking left, lobs one downfield to Mays, and it's intercepted. intercepted. It looks it's like... Daly, I believe that was four. Is that Gillies? Six. Yeah, it's Gillies. Number six. Number six. So he throws, he runs, and he plays good defense. <laughs> the pass was intended for Alex Daly. And Gillies got in front of him, went up and took the ball away. That was six. That was uh, Jack Corsine, I, I believe. Was that six down there? Yes, yeah, six. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. Racine, I beg your pardon, Racine got the interception. Yeah, Gillis has done enough. <laughs> Do not, yeah. Well, he's back in now. There he is. No, it's... Let's see. No, it looks like six is. Yeah. Tripped up. Number five. We, Morrell. Cole Morrell. Yeah, I haven't called his name too much today. No, hey, you know what it is. He, everybody gets a chance, and when they were getting a chance, they were scoring. One of the Westwood kids got a cramp. I was, it better not be Giordano. Well, you know, that's why we need IV. Right, Dell walked off with a cramp in his calf. At least I think that's what it is. Oh, oh bad snap. And we covered. Like number six for uh, Will Borgeson, first tackle. Yeah. He was in there. And now, you know, it's getting dark. <laughs> yeah, it's almost 8 o'clock. Excellent lights, by the way, at Riverdale. Yeah. Third and seven now for Riverdale. 6-12 to go in the third quarter, 28-point differential. So Gillies will be the quarterback on this play. Yeah, he... Unless they change in front of me. <laughs> Gillies the quarterback. But, well, we're going to see. <laughs> Hands off to, 21. to Mellet, and he's going to be brought down short of a first down. And bring up a punting formation for Riverdale. You get the feeling that Riverdale lost a little bit of that energy here? Absolutely. Well, you know, you're, you're up 35-7. He's switching, bringing different plays, players in. <laughs> Not one of the better kicks here. Ball, good bounce. Yeah. Rolls out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Yep, 45. 45. So Westwood will take over. Pretty good field position. They trail 35-7 to with 5.15 to go. In the third quarter. And we're in the third quarter. <laughs> Let's see. What do we have here? Brian Carr gave us some of those stats courtesy of um, Greg Matura, which was a dominant first half for Riverdale. On both sides of the ball. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, all, all three aspects, they're offense, they're defense, and special teams. They're an excellent squad, and they should have, if they keep playing the way they're playing today, they may be back at MetLife Stadium. Well, a lot of wood to crack between now and December 3rd. Yeah, you got to take one at a time. One game at a time. It was a song call, one day at a time. Oh, sure. <laughs> I think a lot of people use that one. One day at a time. Kubia throws, has a man. Oh, yeah. That's a good throw. And Brown, Brown again. That's the second Brown. catch for Brown. First down. So Brown falls across the 45 yard line. First and 10 now for Westwood. First down, first is 10 from Riverdale We'll be calling signals. Talking it over with uh, 
Giordano. And we have a flag down here. Let's see what goes here. Motion yeah, against Westwood. I have a feeling the motion man was going forward. So that backs up five yards. So now they got first 15 and 15 for a first down, yes. Yep. And see, these are the things you got to you gotta omit from your repertoire, as they say. You've got a good field position. You got to go ahead, not behind. Daly comes out to the left. <coughs> Mace to the right. Bias is in a slot. You're going to have a blitz coming from number five. <laughs> See, they have three down. No, they're Giordano's blitzing. Seven motion. blitz. Look at this. Seven people. Throws outside to Giordano. Skips away from one and gets across the 50-yard line. That was all Giordano getting uh, yes. those yardage. Well, you know what? You had four. There was five, six blitz on them. See, with this defense, they, they come from linebackers, safeties. They stunt. They do oh. everything. But they've always done that. Second and 11. <laughs> Second and... Giordano, he may have lost a half a yard on that. Stopped by 52. John Straniero, I guess Straniero made the stop. Lost about a yard. So third down and long. Three minutes and 25 seconds to go in the third quarter. So you got 13 yards roughly for first down. You're in two down situation. Brown is in the slot. Another blitz Can coming in. Throws downfield, knocked away nicely. Excellent defense by number six, Racine. Jack Racine. Now it's going to bring up a fourth down. There's another one of the quarterback, 6-1. Good de defensive back, nice height. Long arms. <laughs> Not everything. <laughs> Sounds like you, John, when you played. Oh, sure. <laughs> <Not> sure. <laughs> yeah, that was in the Middle even, Ages. Even, even we didn't wear helmets then. <laughs> no helmets. <laughs> That's why I am like I am now. <laughs> Too many hits. You had those leather helmets, right? Oh, yeah. with, no, with no face masks. <laughs> <laughs> I think we did have face masks. You had a face mask? Yeah, but it was just a little bar there. Come you ever see those hockey goalies <laughs> years ago played with no masks? The hockey goalies with no mask? <laughs> that was a long oh, time whoa. ago, Larry. <laughs> All right, so fourth down. Trips to the right, or to the left. To the right, to the left. Karubia calling signals. Five, looks, two blitz. Looks, looks, being rushed out of the pocket. Still going. Fires downfield. And is it caught? It's caught. No, incomplete. Incomplete. I thought he may have caught it. Well, that was number 13, uh, Alex Daly. Daly was there Six, along four. with Baez. The ball was thrown to either one of them. I thought uh, Daly had a, a shot. So that will turn the ball over to... Uh, Riverdale. So Riverdale will take Look over at, at midfield. He's not happy right now. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Does a great job here. But when he called me and gave me the starters, he was unbelievable. He knows all the numbers. Said, but this is what I'm telling you. But there's going to be a lot of moves. <laughs> wasn't that bad. And we, I'll, get, I'll get five quarterbacks. We, we followed him. Oh, absolutely. Well, good thing he told us. <laughs> 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 or else we would have been in trouble. Hand off to Mallet. Picked up about four, maybe five. We'll see what the Stopped by Bayes and 34, I believe, uh, Constantinas. Anthony, num number 34. Constantinez, I guess. Little Greek name. I would put a couple of vowels and change it to an Italian name, right? <laughs> <laughs> Constantino, they do so you can do a little gardening out there. Contadino. Gilly's calling signals, looking over the defense. <laughs> 
Hand off to Mallet again. Mallet nice. bounces off one and Number is Number 90 dropped. made the stop. Deep, or... Depot. Oh, that, you know, that name fits him. Home Depot, maybe. Third and five. He's got nice size for Westwood. Number 90. We're inside the two minute mark of the third quarter. Six foot, 250, defensive end. Yeah, he's, he's come on, he's come on. Oh, I'll tell you, playing a very good game today. He keeps moving forward, nobody's pushing him back, that 250. Very <laughs> few people are gonna push you at 250. He's gonna get plenty of um, tickets to Home Depot. And they try to hit a little uh, there influence he is play. No there good. He... Depot was there. And you see uh, one of the uh, Riverdale players pat him on a helmet. Nice job, number 90. That was true. They tried to influence that. That was like influence play where <laughs> quarterback took the ball, stopped, and hoped that the, the defensive men would come to the outside. Sure. He could hit inside. Not, look, not so. Look at, look at. 90s talking though. You can see him talking in there. It's good. Depot, he's, I'll tell you what, he's doing okay. a nice job, by the way. Excellent job. Punting situation. Kicks up in the air. Mays will have it at the 15. Angles to his right. Gets a block. He's going Plenty down the far sideline. And he is, stays Still on his going. feet and gets across the 40 yard line. Westwood's best plays of fielding punts and kickoffs. So Westwood gets the ball. At the 40, inside the 40 yard line, maybe the 38, wait for the spot. Two outstanding run by the speedsters. And this is what you have to do, you know, you're down, you wanna work for next week. You're down 35-7, you want some positive, so you can build. The next week they're at, is it Dumont? Dumont, they're at Westwood's at Dumont next week. Then they come home the following week for Ramsey. <clears throat> Next week will be a Paramus Catholic. Pope John the 23rd visits. Hand off. Still on his feet. Oh, that's a beautiful What play. a run. What a run. Number well, five. Giordano. Oh. IV. Uh oh. I think IV needs, uh, he may have a cramp. Yeah, definitely. Both, it looks like both legs. You get one of those cramps at night, and you, you don't know how to go. You could think I have a, a nurse at home, because <laughs> I always go the wrong way. You know, John, you you you, you look see at that. You, oh, look at it. You see that hurt. You see Ooh. a kid like Giordano. It's um. He he he's running very hard. They're losing by a lot. At the end of the third quarter, it's hot and humid, and he wasn't going down on the first hit. Giordano's getting cramps. No, both legs. Because Boy, you well, he gets you, cramps, he gets cramps. Well, you, but you it's, don't know what to do. If, yeah. And if you go oh. the wrong way, you go against it. You ever wake up in the middle of the oh. night with a cramp? I have the oh. nurse, she tells me what to do. Yep. Yeah, she gets <laughs> up and tells you, leave me oh, alone. Oh, yeah, because I said, I have no <laughs> clue what I'm doing. <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> it's nothing more than a cramp. And the upper part is tough. You see, if it's <laughs> the lower part, you know what to do. But if it's above the knee, my God, it hurts. Oh, it's and if you go the wrong way, you see stars. And if you don't stretch it immediately, it'll hurt for a while, and for then a you day get or two. Black and blue mark on it. Hey, Vicky, let's get a get a close up of him. It appears uh, Tyler Giordano has a a cramp. They're starting to cramp up now. With Probably on both the, on both legs. Both legs. It looks like it. Yeah. We had Rydell going off with a cramp. This is what happens when you play both ways in a warm day, yeah. humid day. It's warm and humid. See, if it's you and I out there doing that, they bring the stretcher. <laughs> they bring the undertaker. <laughs> well, that would end up with us, yeah. <laughs> Call for Beckers. Yeah. First uh, and 10. Brown. Brown, <laughs> he inundated. Oh, he's got a, he's got a, no. Another Brown's getting up slowly. Nah, he was all right. And this'll do, the, this'll do it for the third quarter. So three quarters are in the books. It's been all Riverdale, 35 to seven over Westwood. You are watching WCTV, the all volunteer group in the township of Washington. One of our friends, Pat Rice, is, has a, uh, a, I guess a sports blog at uh, www.p.com. 
jrsportsreport.com. If you want to know anything about high school football, you talk to Pat Rice. He can name coaches, players, <laughs> all the way down the uh, coast into Cape May. So you can go to www.pjrsportsreport.com and check out Pat's reports. Carubia fires way downfield for Daly, and ball doesn't get there. Nice job on defense, number eight, Malachi, Tyler. Just knocked it away. The pass wasn't bad, you know, he had good position. But it was up there a little bit too long. So it's gonna bring it down, but third down now. The ball is on the 27 yard line of Riverdale. We just started the fourth quarter. If you joined us late, Riverdale exploded in the second quarter and they take a 37 to seven lead. Westwood's only score was an outstanding 95 yard kickoff return by Tyler Giordano. That was right at the end of the uh, second quarter, I believe, the start, so. Started the second quarter, yep. It was 7-7, seven, seven, started the second quarter, and then you had then 20, 28 unanswered points by Riverdale. Yeah. And we could give you. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll recap as, as John, maybe as the quarter goes on. Yeah, we'll, we'll give him. Karubia rolls, being shaked down oh. and caught and dropped. And the ball, the ball, ball may have down. come out. Yeah. And it's Riverdale's ball as Kubi loose the ball. Number three, Fujian, Matt. Fujian, three. He's the he's the he's playing nose guard, I think. Uh, so, well, he's a DB linebacker. Is it? Yeah, they have him down there, but I, someone told me Brian Carr that he's up he's up on the line these days. Well, we never know what this forget, defense. Don't forget, yeah, a deep. Uh, if you have a, a DB, the DB can come on a line. <laughs> well, that's what, that's, that's that's what, what Brian said. It, because that's what they do. They bring them up. That's where you get all the blitzes from. Remember, they shouldn't put anything like they only DB. Put three, they put three linemen. Doesn't and he have a 3-5? Three, three well, sometimes you have six, seven people. They all come in. And this is why it's so tough on, on the offensive line. Christian Hay now is the quarterback. Oh, this is number four then, right? Yep. All right. Hands off to use, and we got penalties all over the place. I can make you a, a little wager. Yeah. It's going to be five quarterback. Let's see. This penalty is going to go against, against Westwood, yes. When there's a penalty like that, it's usually face mask. That's exactly what it is. Oh, thank you very much. That's what he said. Huh? The announcer said that. Oh. should listen to him. <laughs> So that's a first down. The ball now gets to midfield, just over the 50-yard line on the 49-yard line of West. Guess what? Christian Hay, he's a quarterback. Number 16 is yeah, in. Yeah, that's your next quarterback. That's your fifth quarterback, I believe. I'll have to check. Let's see if he goes to the quarter. Yes, he's, well, let me see. He's quarterback, yes? Yeah, he was there. For, uh, that's number five. In. That's he number just came five. In. Yep, yep. Let's Good see size. How, let's see how he operates. Six he's one. Back. Looks, throws, has his man. To number six, uh, Racine. So Racine catches. He, he's also a quarterback. So now you got a quarterback thrown to a quarterback. <laughs> Who could lateral to a quarterback? <laughs> <laughs> what position do you play at Riverdale? Quarterback. So it's a first down for Riverdale. Hay brings them up. At least that's who's the last quarterback on the field. Spreads he, he all said, over. He said he was going to have five quarterbacks. <laughs> Hand off. The 21. Use and use falls forward for about four yards. Mellet, right? 21? Let's see. Mellet. Mellet, 21, I believe. 27 is use, yeah. 21. <laughs> so it's going to bring up a second down. See that, now 21 comes out. So Mellick comes out. Yeah, I don't think we have 27, let's see. No, you do have 27, 27 views. It's a so. handoff to Sirico, and he runs right into a would-be tackle of Westwood. Looks like number 24, 24 Mays. 
And let's see, is that a fumble? Yeah, man. They're calling it a fumble. Six. And Borgensen comes up with it, number six. So Westwood picks up the fumble. Mays had the tackle. The ball comes out, and Borgensen, the junior, middle linebacker, part of the Borgensen family. So that's a positive. <clears throat> So 10 23 to go in the game. Westwood has the ball. No score in the second half. No, uh, no score. 35 at all. 7. So when we get a chance, we'll we'll name the young players for Riverdale if we score a touchdown. Yeah, we'll get well, next time out we'll do that, okay? We'll do that. That'll be good. All right. <clears throat> Hand off to number five. Hey, Giordano's back. Well, I'll tell you one thing, he has crams but boy, he's the fastest heel we've ever seen. IV. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of shot of IV. Of IV on both, both legs. His his mother said that she's got to get a lot of Gatorade. She gives him a lot of Gatorade. He's got to have a, ga a couple of gallons. He's got to go to a game. <laughs> Before the game, you got to hydrate. <laughs> I bet you next week she'll have Gatorade. Before he leaves, he'll be drinking Gatorade. All, he'll probably be drinking Gatorade starting Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to build a surplus. <laughs> he goes up 20 pounds on that. <laughs> Kamubia fires downfield. The man's open. He has his men. Mays. He's down the seal. Mays going, and he runs in for a touchdown. touchdown From the 37, Whoa. what, was that 63? Yes, sir. 63 yards. Christian Mays, made the heat, caught that ball. He's got speed. Excellent speed. Whoa. So he caught it, and he scampered. So Westridge on the board, 35-14. Nice, nice pass by Carubia. Yep. 35-13. So you know, Larry, these are the positive things that have to happen. At 35-7, you can all say, um, we're going to give up. But you got to get in the game and play. You got to play for next week. <clears throat> and you got a lot of time yet. And we have a timeout on Westwood. Westwood calls a timeout. Get their players in. You know, John, you, you, you're right. You, you look for all positives. You look for, there's Rydell walking around. Yeah, he's, he's looking good. And there's your Westwood Chili's. You, you, we haven't you, had too much with them. If, if you look at Riverdale, you say, boy, we played a second quarter almost perfect. Second yes. quarter. Oh. But in the second half, if, either Westwood's defense, but they seemed they didn't have the same energy they had. Oh, there's my. <laughs> you're, you're right. <laughs> he's, you know, he should walk around. Make a nice little pocket and have a little IV for him. Just any time. <laughs> he's just susceptible to that. The way you get out. We know what it is. He's got the, the muscular legs. That, that's painful. Oh, we, you you know how sore that is. Ooh, that really is sore. That. Oh my God, that's tough. I thought about that. I said, when you get so it. So they're going for the. Uh, they're going for the. I guess we're going to be kicking for an extra point. Yeah. And oh. this is Tito, T.J. Constantine. And Baez will hold. Snap is down, kick is up. Constantine can put his foot into it, and it is good. So 9.33 to go, 35-14, Westward trails Riverdale. Here on the campus of Riverdale High School, you are watching WCTV, the all-volunteer group from the township of Washington. Got the wallet, huh? Who are you? Here we go. We're going to kick off again. Oh, Constantine onside comes kick, forward. Onside kick, no. Nah, no. pang it away. Yeah. Pang it away. And it goes out of bounds. That's a penalty, and the ball will be brought back. I believe the ball comes out to the 40 in, in high school. In the pros in college, you get confused after a while. You watch so much football. Tomorrow night, you got Notre Dame playing Michigan on Saturday night. Oh, well, Saturday nights get better now. They say Notre Dame's supposed to be pretty good. They say they think Notre Dame could be the top four in, uh, in yeah, December. Michigan. Michigan's pretty good, too. Michigan with Harbaugh is pretty good. So I got to tell the, Mrs., the lovely Mrs. LaFury, who's not listening to this, of course, <laughs> we'll take her out to dinner early. Oh, well. Uh, but I won't, say, I won't say what's on at 7.30. Oh, and then yeah. when the TV comes on, oh, my gosh, look at this. I didn't know it was on. I didn't on. know it was on. How did I know this was on? 
She'll believe it. I may send her a little letter. She, she'll Tell believe him. it. You better watch him. He's got a plan up his sleeve. Let's go to, I mean, you look like you'd like to go out a little early tonight because you're hungry, <laughs> you want to sit down, you want to relax. Oh, you have to do that. Yeah, and then I put the football game on. <laughs> Give her a nice <laughs> bottle of wine. <laughs> Nothing there as it was hey for maybe a yard or two. Let's see the scores here. In the fourth quarter, Bergen Catholic, Vito Campanelli's first game at the head coach Bergen Catholic leading 34-22. Don Bosco's losing to Burns of South Carolina 17-12. Rutherford is beating up Manchester 35-6. Paramus 44, Parsippany 21. <laughs> West Milford is leading Indian Hills 20 to nothing. Union City 15 to 7 over Passaic. See a long count here. Union City plays on top of their school their football field. Do you know that? You didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, I knew that. Okay. No! <laughs> Kept by the quarterback. Oh, that was Mikhail. Wayne Valley is winning. It's is tied with uh, Springford, Pennsylvania, and the rest of the games we have no score. So Chris Christian Hay, the fifth quarterback, just went out, and another quarterback will be in, but it will be one of the four others. He, no, know. he's coming back. Oh, he's coming back in. I guess he wanted to get a special, a special discussion with the head coach. Yeah. So let me see here. Third down and five. We're at the eight minute mark. Six foot one, a sophomore, Christian Hay. Getting some time. Westwood looks like they want to blitz. Hay keeps the ball and fights to the 45 yard line. Oof. I think, he's gonna, I think it's gonna be short. You had Baez and you have, oh, you got 52 down for. Let's see what Coach Nimbies does. This good time to punt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Westwood's got another cramp. Number 52. Yeah. That's Paul Jardella, 54. Okay. And let's see what happens here. Oh, they're going to go for it. Fourth and. Last time was fourth and one. They ran for a touchdown. <laughs> and uh, they have Westwood Racine. is really Racine banging is in there. Racine is back in at quarterback. And I think it's enough for a first down as he bangs over the 45 that yard line. That was a power, power sweep. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> that they was, had 10 people inside the box. That there. was mano on mano. Yep. Your, your 10 against my 10. Let's go. That's right. And Racine just said. I'll take it to the promised land. John, here's another, just another quarterback, oh, number 18. Jesse Henderson. There you a go. A sophomore, another one. My goodness, is that number six? Yep. Now, he didn't tell me he had six. Maybe we missed one. I mean, they're coming in so fast. Oh, no. He said he was going to play all his quarterbacks. Oh, yeah. I, he's got six are in, we think. Yeah. Into the middle, nothing. Let's see who's on the bottom of that. Number, Number 21, Mellet. Mike Mellet. He's got a brother, Joe Mellet. So now it looks like Riverdale is just diving, trying to keep the ball on the ground, run out this clock, and get out of here with a well-deserved you know, win. Now, Mike Mellet is one of the starters. He's a sophomore, and his brother, Mellet, is also, when he comes in, well, he's a starter. So both Mellets. Mellet one, Mellet two. Second and eight. Here we go. <laughs> Mel the quarterback keeps it. Oh, this is number 16. Uh, hey. Hey, Mays. Mays knocked him down. Mays. <laughs> Boom. Christian Mays, 6-1. Good ball player. Excellent. I'll tell Excellent. you. Hey. All right. <laughs> now, now, Christian Mates is playing an excellent game for, Saint, uh, for Westwood. He had the touchdown, right? 
Yeah, oh, he's a good run too. Third down now. For pass, Rundell. she had the pass from uh, 63 yard from Karubia to Mates. 18's back in, Jesse Henderson. Henderson's calling signals. They really, look at this snap. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh. And he kept, the, he kept his, he did well, John. He got the ball and didn't turn it over. Number 75. For we, uh, Westwood. Oh, that's Tyler Mack. Thank you. The truck, truck Mack. Tyler, the truck. My hey, John, you see that the Riverdale just is not hitting on all five again? They, well, they, you they know what happens at like this point. Yeah, you, you, when you get you get that kind of a lead. It's not slowing down, huh? <laughs> yes. Mays is dropped. So he's on the 23-yard line, 4.15 to go. 35-14, Riverdale Sanchez, leads. right? 24, Sanchez. 24, stop, 24. 24? Yeah, Sanchez, Andrew Sanchez. Is senior. He's not playing quarterback, is he? No, no, no he's no, a no. running back DB. <laughs> you know, he, he could play quarterback. He could be the seventh quarterback. You never know. I'm going to have to tell him. I have to call the coach up and say, you told me only five. We had six quarterbacks, you may. Came in. So do we get all the scoring in the uh, second quarter there now, John? We want to go through it? We can go real quickly. Yeah. We'll do that. Let's, it, start, uh, let's, let's start all the scoring. It started uh, the first touchdown with Jack. We're seeing 14-yard run, 7 nothing. extra points. They always make extra points. Uh, then they had a, there was a 95-yard touchdown by number five for Westwood, making a 7-7. That ended the first quarter. Then the second quarter, he had Fletcher, 15-yard touchdown, made a 14-7 extra point by Gillis. Then you had Fletcher, 31-yard uh, touchdown, kicked by Gillis. Then you had a 70-yard uh, Fletcher. And then you had a, a four-yard touchdown for Sirico, making 27-7. And then you had a 28-yard pass to number 14, Matt McHale, for a touchdown. And the extra point was good by Gillis. That was 35-7. And then we had the touchdown by Mays. 63 yards from Karubia, and the extra point by Constantine made it 35-14. And that's all you're scoring. That's where we stand. <coughs> so, Constantine. So we have 3.33 left in this game. The last, the last run was by Anthony Costantinidis. Yeah, He's a uh, sophomore. He had another play. I, I really did a, not a good job <laughs> pronouncing that. A nice Greek name. Oof. Yes, right in the middle for nothing as we get down to the three-minute mark <coughs> and just trying to run. I guess they're running the clock out here now. Well, you a lot of the kids here at Westwood are suffering from cramps. It, and it's a hot basically, day. there's no score here in the second half. Well, the only touchdown in the second half was by Westwood at this point. So, Constantinides Very ran good. the last two pa plays. Yeah, there's only one score in the second half. The touchdown by Karubia to Mace. An extra point by, Con I guess. Uh, so, Con Westwood slowly comes up. We have two minutes and 37 seconds. John went over all the scoring, so we're going to get out of here as soon as the game's over. We'll do our thank yous after the uh, next play or two. You got 228, more than likely running time. Karubia looks now, throws downfield. And the ball's incomplete, falls out of bounds, going to be, bring up a fourth down. That was to Mays. You yeah. see, and he's playing. He, he knows how like important it is to play. There's the award for the bird. Uh, the bird ball goes bird back goal. to oh. Riverdale. They keep it. They've had it for the last You know, I think it years. was, if I'm not mistaken, it was Patricia Benvenuti, former AD at Westwood, and Dennis Nelson here who <laughs> decided they're going to have this bird <clears throat> ball. You're right. You're and, absolutely correct, Larry. And it's been sitting in Riverdale now for the last couple of years. Well, yeah, last time uh, was when Vito Campanile went for two points and took it away. Right here. Right here. Exactly. Ball is blocked. <clears throat> and it dies on about yeah. the 50-yard line. Night. So Riverdale will take over. We want to thank Dennis Hart, the coach at Westwood, for all the help he's given us this week in preparing for the game, the athletic director, Danny Vavino. DJ Nymphius and Nymphius. his staff here at the Riverdale. And Dennis of course, Nelson. Dennis Nelson for all the help they gave. So we want to thank you so very much. Couldn't have done it without you. Yeah. 
Oh, I would there think he Ricky is right there. As a coach, uh, if you he does a great job here. Oh, you know what? He's, okay, he's you know, it's, it's the word's getting around that he's one of the top coaches in Bergen County. He's you know there. what he's doing, Larry? He keeps the kids at Riverdale. Riverdale has a great academic program, and this guy's doing a heck of a job. And they also have a very good, the two towns, uh, River Ridge and yeah, Oregon, have good rec programs, and they, they the <clears> kids <throat> stay here. See, right now he's looking... And he's trying to get everybody in right now. He's putting another group nah, in. No, he's trying for an eight quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got six. <laughs> Let's get two more in. We got two uh, minutes to go. So now Riverdale wins this game, and now Coach has an idea of what his team <coughs> can be. And if there's any indication I'll in that second quarter, woof. I'll have to call, call him and ask DJ. He'll have to respond to me about 3, 4 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. He I was, couldn't believe it. You heard what he said. He was going golfing. That's how we... <laughs> That's how we saw it. He gets up early in the morning, goes golf out in uh, Long Island. Now, this is 16. Oh, hey, is in there. Yep. But you know what? All these young men. Here's number seven for Westwood. Uh, Borgeson is playing. So you we're under two minutes now. Right now, they're going to just try to run the clock <laughs> down. Yeah, you don't want to No one gets hurt, and we get out of here. No more cramp. Hey, hey is the quarterback, and the referee's taking his time spotting the ball. So... He took his time spotting the ball, and we're going to So you have six and here. seven in there. Bor both Borgesons are in the game. That's, that two brothers there. Yep. Will and Ian. Hayes calling <laughs> signals. He'll wait till the referee at the, in the back starts raising his hand, starts counting the five seconds off. Well, you have a positive second half for Westwood. Well, you got to look for something. There he goes. Yeah, the referee's positive. got his hand up. Mays had a real good game. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> Dive into the middle. At that point, he said, give him the ball. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> give it to somebody. <laughs> and he's holding it there. All of a sudden, they jump you. So it's going to bring up a third down. We're under a minute to go. This could be the last play. Could be. And at number 31, Everett Riley, how's that? 31 for uh, Riverdale. Sounds good to me. Okay. I want to thank Ricky and Ida and the gang at WCTV back at the studio. And keep we're going to try to have a awake. we're going to have a post game show. So you know, this it'll follow this game, and every week we'll try to do uh, some scores with some of the uh, our friends who are covering some of these games. Oh, uh, dive into still the playing. middle, and that's it. Just about do it. Unless Westwood calls a timeout, this game is over. And I don't see Westwood calling a timeout no. as the clock continues to roll down. And Riverdale will come out with a 35-14 victory over Westwood. There was no score in the second quarter, in the second half. But the second quarter, Riverdale just ran off 28 straight points and put the game away. Again, we want to thank everyone. So for John Frank Kohler, Ricky Wojcicki, the gang back at the studio, we hope you enjoy the game. Again, the final score, 35-14, Riverdale wins. Next week, we're at Paramus Catholic, where Paramus Catholic will take on Pope John the 23rd. For John Frank Kohler, this is Larry Fury saying thank you very much. Good night, and see you next week.